Hey friends, welcome back to the channel. So it is time for a primitive haul. This weekend I got out with my mom and we went on a little shopping adventure to E-Town and Cave City. And we did go to the haunted house I was talking about, uh, Raven's Cross Haunted Village. It was awesome. Uh, the actors were amazing. The sets were awesome. I highly recommend it. Um, I know I said I was gonna try to video that haunt for you guys, but they did not allow any uh, flash photography or any video uh, in, in the haunt. So unfortunately, I didn't get anything for you guys, but definitely go check them out. It is worth $25. So anyway, I'm gonna try to keep this video short. Waiting for the husband to get home. I've gotta get ready to cook some um, Dijon chicken and mushrooms and uh, first time I'm cooking it. So gotta get that ready for him when he gets home. So um, first stop, what was the first stop? This was today. Okay, our first stop was uh, we went into Hobby Lobby and uh, got some dried flowers here. And I thought these looked very primitive. I see it a lot in a lot of primitive decorating. Um, so yeah, I'm not sure what all the pieces are. It just says gypsy grass, natural. Um, yeah, I'm not sure what, what they are, but um, I've seen dried flowers like tied together and like hung, um, I don't know, on like a coat rack or something. You guys know what I'm talking about. Uh, any of you, any of my primitive friends on here, uh, you get what I'm saying. Um, I also found this basket and everything that I got was on sale. I think 50% off. So I like these primitive looking baskets. This was originally $35, but I think it was about 15 ish. Uh, so that was, oh, one more thing. I got this grapevine wreath. I believe it was 10 bucks. So that's another popular country primitive decoration there. All right, friends, the next stop after Hobby Lobby, we went into the Peddler's Mall in E-Town. Um, got this. They are um, glass insulators for uh, that you see on power lines. Um, I've always liked these, and this was, I think it was only a couple bucks. But she got that for me, and I love, you guys know if you've been watching me for a while, I love my buckets and anything rusty. So, I don't think this is old, old. I think it's a replica or a reproduction. Uh, but yeah, it's a very heavy duty, rusty bucket. This will look good with some flowers in it or, you know, anything really. So, next stop was, oh, one more thing. So one more thing that I picked up at the E-Town Peddler's Mall is this, uh, it's made out of wood, pieces of wood, but I'm trying to get this in the view there. Uh, this beautiful red barn, um, it's a winter scene. It's called New Fallen S Snow and it's by Billy Jacob. If you've been following me a while, I collect Billy Jacob prints and pictures. So I thought this was different. I really liked it on the wood. And I do like barns. I don't know, I just always love old barns. So that was all the items I found when we were out Saturday before we went to Cave City to the haunted house. Um, it was just a really great day. I mean, you can't take those days with your mom for granted, right? So um, we just had a really good time and we ended up eating at Shogun's and I've never ate at Shogun's before but let me tell you if you've not gone go it is absolutely delicious. Um, so anyway the next little bit of stuff here I got this morning I uh, went out to the Middletown Peddler's Mall and then I actually uh, had to do my mom's hair tonight it's Sunday night now 
and uh, I did I do my mom's hair, but anyway, um, before that, I killed a little bit of time at the Peddler's Mall in Bardstown as well. And this next stuff is a little bit of mixture of that. This was at Middletown Peddler's Mall. Primitive pumpkin here with the crow. I love this look right here. Um, I wish I was talented enough to make this kind of stuff. But who's got the time for that, right? <laughs> but anyway, absolutely love that. And under $10, my kind of price there. Um, the next thing I got is this uh, three ears here of this decorative corn. I've seen this in there before and passed it up. So I saw it again today and I guess it was just meant to be. So again, $5 there. That is my kind of shopping right there. Um, the next thing I found is this wooden country primitive, um, what is this, scarecrow. And I love what it says. I say this about myself all the time, if I only had a brain. But I thought that was super cute. And uh, this one, this next piece was in Middletown. Peddler's Mall. Um, it's saying it's just a large gray tray. I don't know if I can get that all the way in the video there. But I really like the patina. Is that what you, is that the word? Yeah, I'm going with it. Uh, patina of this tray. The distressed look. Again, I love uh, galvanized looking stuff as well. So, 29 bucks. It's a little pricey, but it was things in that booth there are a little pricey so uh this was one of the cheaper things there and i plan on putting um like a three wick flameless candle in the middle and maybe filling it with some kind of um filler like i don't know potpourri or berries or something like that um so stay tuned and you guys will see what i come up with for this also, there was a couple, and I'm just going to put these out in my shed, which by the way, um, the fall video for 2022 of my little shed slash shop, um, uh, not sure what you want to call it. Sometimes I call it my me shed. Uh, you guys know what I'm talking about. So these items will probably just go out there because I try to make it look like it's a little country store and typically I will leave the price tags and stuff on them so anyway I'm weird it's fine uh, so these were pillow pillowcase covers and my kind of price again uh, they were only $2.99 so I uh, went ahead and picked those up there's that one and I thought this one was kind of pretty the different colors bright colors the wagon there and all the pumpkins and probably one of my favorite finds of today was this huge basket here. It's very fragile, but very, very primitive looking. I really, really like it. Not sure what I'm going to do with it yet. Um, I might get some pumpkins and fill it full of pumpkins and that sort of thing. So anyway, that is that does it for this video. I don't think I'm leaving anything out. Um, so if you made it this far, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Um, hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I do a lot of primitive hauls. That's just part of my channel here. I do a little bit of everything. So if you are interested in any of that and you haven't subscribed yet, uh, please subscribe. And um, you guys can kind of see what I do with these items and how I decorate with them. If you have a friend that is into country, farmhouse, antiques, primitive decorating, please send them my way. I would really appreciate that. Um, it's just nice to create a little community of people that love the same things and uh, we can just get ideas from each other and inspire. So anyway, one more thing I do want to show you guys. I did end up getting a t-shirt. So I did end up getting a t-shirt from Ravenscross Haunted Village in Cave City, Kentucky. 
Um, they have several different ones. Um, they have a really awesome um, Halloween slash horror horror collectors kind of thing uh, gift shop there. Um, but it was a very good experience, a very nice haunt. Um, the actors were top notch. The scenery and sets were awesome. Um, and this this one here kind of uh, stood out to me uh, as far as class and keeping the storyline going throughout the whole haunt. Um, nothing about it was generic or I know a lot of haunted houses they'll um, usually fill them up. <laughs> no offense with like younger younger teenagers and they just jump out in front of you and scream really loud and uh, which is fine I mean do your thing but um, it's nice to everybody have a script a nice script and stay in character but anyway guys at this point I am rambling thank you so much again for watching this video um, I am gonna do a indoor Halloween tour of the inside soon I'll give you another update on the yard and I will give you a tour of the shed for um, fall 2022. So thanks again for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, friends.